Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. Today I'll be doing a book review on Alpha by Jess Accardo. So this is the third book in the Infinity Division series. I have a review up for the first and the second book. If you want to check that out, I will put links to those in the description, but if you haven't started this series yet or are not caught up with it, I'd recommend not to watch this video if you are planning to read it because I'm most likely going to go into spoilers. So Alpha is a follow-up to the last book in the series, but this time you're following two different characters. In this book we follow Sarah and G, who have been held captive in the Infinity Division and being experimented on. And in the last book they managed to escape and the rest of this book is them figuring out what this new Project Alpha is. And at the same time these characters grow closer together. They have this very strong bond since they were held captive together for a very long time. So they're also discovering their feelings for each other throughout this book. So first let's go into the characters. I'm going to talk about the two main characters of this book, the ones we follow. This book is told in dual perspective through G's and Sarah's point of view. So the first character we have is Sarah. She is the dual version of Ava, who we met in the first book when the series just took off. And Ava is the dead girlfriend of Dylan, who is the villain of this series. So I was very glad that we finally got to meet a version of her. Though her name isn't Ava, it's Sarah because she lost her memory when she was experimented on. So she gave herself a name and her name is Sarah, but she is still Ava. This character had been through a lot since she was held prisoner and she was experimented on against her will. I liked how in this book we really got to see her get past that and at the same time really fight for her freedom. And then we have G who is the dual person of Dylan. I was so pumped when we got to see another version of Dylan from another earth and we followed his perspective. The interesting thing about G is he is morally great because he is Dylan from another earth and Dylan is the bad guy of this series. He has done some very crappy things. He's very dangerous and violent and G is the same way but it's toned down a little and you can really tell that he doesn't want to be bad but he has these natural violent tendencies and I found his backstory to be so incredibly interesting. He was a soldier in a war who liked killing people basically. It was just really intriguing to see a character who actually liked violence but at the same time in his new life now that he has forgotten all of his memories because he was experimented on he wants to forget his past completely because he doesn't want to be a violent person but those violent tendencies are still in him. And based on that fact I felt like we saw so much character growth in his character throughout this series as he fought back his instincts to be a violent person. Now going into the plot. So this book was very fast paced. I want to say out of all the books in this series this one was the most fast paced book. I feel like all the books in this series are pretty fast paced. There's a lot of action going on but this book just took that to the next level and I really didn't mind that. I like the fact that something was always happening and at the same time we did still get to hang out with the characters, get to know each and every one of the characters but there was still a lot of action happening that kept me intrigued. Now let's talk about the romance and the relationships in this book. The thing I like about this series is that it is sci-fi, but there is a heavy amount of romance in it, and I'm like a romance junkie, so of course I didn't mind that. In this book, we follow the relationship between Sarah and G. They have this growing attraction and infatuation with each other that I really loved seeing. I really felt their chemistry. The cool thing about the relationship is that in almost every world Ava and Dylan are together and the Dylan we follow throughout this series his girlfriend is Ava and he was with her for a long time before she died and then in this book we meet a different version of Dylan and Ava who is G and Sarah and we see them come together and throughout this book I was thinking the whole time that it was inevitable for them to get together since in so many worlds a version of Ava and Dylan are in love so it was kind of predictable that G and Sarah would end up together but I liked that because I had always wanted to see the relationship between Dylan and Ava so we got to see that in a different versions of them so that was really interesting. 
I felt like the writing was good and well done. I feel like it's to the point. And like I said, the plot is very fast paced, so the writing definitely gives up that vibe. I felt like the writing was just as good as it was in the rest of the books of the series. Overall, I like this. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It was really good. Definitely a great conclusion to this series. I felt like the ending of it really wrapped up the series nicely, wrapped up all the loose ends, and didn't leave any questions left unanswered. And that's all I expect in the last book of a series to answer all the questions we had throughout the series, and this book did just that. So if you have read the first two books in the series and are thinking about continuing, I recommend to do so. This was a great final book to the series that I would highly recommend. And I'm honestly a little sad that the series is over. I went through, what, three years of reading it and I definitely really enjoyed it. It was like a fun ride and I'm really looking forward to reading the rest of Jessica Cardo's books. This is the only series I've read from her, but I definitely want to read like all of her books because I really enjoyed this series so much. And I also want to thank Entangled Teen for sending me these books. I don't think I would have discovered this series had they not sent this to me, so I'm so glad they did because it's quickly become one of my favorites. So that was my review on Alpha. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos. Also be sure to click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you're notified when I post new videos. And if you want to hear more from me outside of YouTube, be sure to follow my social media. Those links will be down in the description box below. And I'll be back really soon. Bye.